Money, a very big price, 10 to 1. Catabatic is ridden by regular rider Simon McNeil. Beach Road at 5 to 1 by top uh, apprentice Tony McCoy, claiming three. Southold at 7 to 1. Richard Guest, Cheerability 8 to 1. Norman Williamson. Lumberjack at 12 to 1 is the mount of Dean Gallagher. Beachy Head is the 4 to 1 favourite with Mark Dwyer. Couldn't be better at 92. Graham Bradley. Indian Tonic. What a tonic at 12 to 1 for Chris Maud. Strong Bow. Big price, 33 to 1, Adrian Maguire. Well briefed, 12 to 1, Brendan Powell. That's the lineup. And there are a lot of front runners in this race, uh, to be sure. Catabatic and Indian Tonic and Beachy Head and Strongbow and Cheerability can all force the pace, and that pace is, looks good as they come to the first, and it's Indian Tonic that gains the day and takes the first in great style. Second place is Beachy Head, third Catabatic, fourth well brief the inside, and then on the outer is Cheerability, followed by Couldn't Be Better. Southold is the back marker, and they bypass the fence, as you uh, could clearly see. So just the 16 to jump with uh, joint favourites at the off, Beachy Head at 9 to 2. Beachy Head the grey on the outside of Indian Tonic as they race away towards the third at which uh, Indian Tonic on the inner will lead. Indian Tonic and Beachy Head uh, slightly awkward there with sheer ability and uh, lost a bit of momentum there as they start a turn at the far end of the track having jumped the two fences, normally three on that uh, cross spur. Indian Tonic leading from Beachy Head in second, couldn't be better in third. Southold has made uh, great strides to go through and share four with Strong Bow. Catabatic races on the inside of Well Briefed, and uh, then towards the back, or one of the back markers, Lumberjack, and on the outside, Beach Road, as they start the turn by the two-mile start, with Indian Tonic, a bold front runner, has command. Beachy Head the grey, and uh, couldn't be better out wide. On the extreme left with the wide sleeves, that's Southold, and here they arrive at uh, the third, over which Lumberjack was slightly awkward, but it's Indian Tonic on the inside. Indian Tonic and Southold out wide now, nearest to us at the bottom of the picture. Southold uh, comes to the fourth, the leader. So it's Southold taking it up now from Indian Tonic and couldn't be better and Beachy Head and Beach Road and Catabatic the inside and Strong Bow. Then we have Lumberjack and Well Briefed and the back marker is Sheer Ability and they head towards fence number five at which uh, Southold will lead. Southolt on the outside comes to take it and gives it plenty of daylight by a couple of lengths. Two Indian Tonic and in the blue couldn't be better holding third. Catabatic the red jacket, the inside of the grey horse Beachy Head. And then we have Beach Road and Strong Burn, well briefed and Lumberjack and Sheer Ability as they cross the next. No change up front. And Sheer Ability, after that mistake early on, is now giving the fences a lot of respect. But it's just on the front end, Southolt. By a couple of lengths to Indian Tonic, the inside of Couldn't Be Better. Then we have Beachy Head and Catabatic and Beach Road, followed by Strongbow, Lumberjack, Well Briefed, and Sheer Ability. And they make a left handed turn to race down the hill and towards fence number seven now, away from the enclosures. With the pace being dictated by Southolt. Southolt to buy a couple of lengths to Richard, ridden by Richard Guest. Southolt it is to Indian Tonic in second. This is a plain fence, this is the seventh, and it's Southolt. Jumping a little bit to his left at that one. Well, brief, the slight mistake. And Lumberjack, who uh, I must say now ridden by Jamie Osborne, is the back marker and getting one or two reminders. Head down towards the water jump. And it's Southolt on the outside of Indian Tonic and couldn't be better. They're the leading three as they cross the water. Beachy head back in four, Catabaki in five. Beach Road is in sixth place. And uh, then behind the sheer ability and strong burn, well briefed, and here comes an open ditch. And it was Southolt who led down. Indian Tonic was the one uh, that parted company with his rider there. Lumberjack, a mistake at the rear of the field. Head towards a plain fence, and Southolt clear by about four legs. Southolt over to Couldn't Be Better and Beachy Head and Catabatic. And then uh, behind these comes Beach Road and Sheer Ability and Strong Burn, well briefed, and Lumberjack uh, won't be OK today. He's the trailer and um, by some way. Uh, continue to race away down towards the next uh, open ditch, and it's still South Hawk clear by about uh, five lengths to in second place. Catabatic was the one that went there. It's uh, Southolt to couldn't be better in second as they go to the fence at the top of the hill. It's Southolt from in second place, uh, couldn't be better. Back in third is Beachy Head, a big break then to uh, some of the uh, other placed horses as they go to the top of the hill. Southolt it is to couldn't be better. Beachy Head is getting closer and significantly closer with uh, just under three quarters of a mile to go. Head down towards the fourth from home in this, the Steve Smith Eccles handicap chase over 
which uh, Southolt led, but jumped out to his right there. Couldn't be better in blue. The grey is Beachy Head in third and going well. They're a long way clear of sheer ability as they begin the descent down towards the third from home. And it's couldn't be better in blue that's come through to challenge for the lead on the outside of Southolt. Beachy Head back in third place. Couldn't be better. Southolt, Beachy Head, sheer ability and Beach Road. A long way clear of well briefed and behind that one is Strongbow, but couldn't be better. And Graham Bradley uh, clear by about four lengths, three lengths now. But Southolt is trying to make up the ground as they start to turn into the home straight. And couldn't be better from Southolt on the outside under Richard Guest. Then back in third is Beachy Head. They've still got two more fences to jump. And Southolt has come from. Uh, to, from the back to come and challenge uh, couldn't be better, couldn't be better, Southall one and two, and Beachy had a crashing fall there, under Mark Dwyer leaving Beach Road in third, one more to jump in the blue on the right, it's couldn't be better, Southall green and white on the left and they'll take the last together here it is, and it's just couldn't be better from Southall, a long way clear of Beach Road, and it's couldn't be better who's fighting the more reserves as they race up towards the line, all tied horses, but it's going to be couldn't be better uh, striding on by far Five, six, seven, eight lengths. This goes to couldn't be better. And at the line, couldn't be better is the winner. Southold is second, couldn't be better the winner. Southold in second, a long, long way back to a very tired uh, beach road in third. And storming up the hill, well briefed, is going to take fourth on the line from sheer ability and Strongbow and Lumberjack, who completed but has tailed off. And so, the result of this, the Steve Smith Eccles handicap chase, it's a win for number seven, couldn't be better, in the colours of Mr. R.A.B. Whittle, the four to one joint favourite, trained by Charlie Brooks, ridden by Graham Bradley, his 28th winner of the season. Second horse home is number three, Southall, ridden by Richard Guest. Southall died to the right, died to the left, at some of his fences, but still held, held out every chance as they came to the last. And the third horse home is number two, Beach Road, ridden by Tony McCoy. Uh, couldn't be better winning from, in fact, four pounds out of the handicap. First number seven, then, couldn't be better, four to one joint favourite. Second number three, Southold at seven to one. And third, number two, Beach Road, nine to two. The other joint favourite was Beachy Head, who, of course, fell. The Tote Returns win number seven, four pounds fifty, places number seven, one eighty, and number three, two sixty, and number two, two pounds exactly. Dual forecast, seventeen pounds eighty, the CSF, twenty-nine pounds sixteen, and the Tricast, one hundred and seventeen pounds seventy-six.